So hi everyone. Today we'll try to understand what is semi-supervised learning and eventually how using semi-supervised learning you can train classification model. You can train regression models also, but this particular uh, tutorial is around how to train a classification model using semi-supervised approach. So basically, semi-supervised approach in this case we have small amount of labeled data, but we have large amount of unlabeled data available with us. And now using these two combinations, we are trying to uh, train a classification or regression or any supervised problem. So basically the first approach that we try to do in a semi-supervised learning code is to trying to label that unlabeled data so that eventually that, that data can also be used for training for some supervised method. So let's get started. Uh, we will be learning on the go. We will trying to understand how we are implementing semi-supervised learning to train out a multi-classification problem in this case. So first of all, I will be creating a dummy data set for us for multi-classification where we have 1000 samples. We will be having 10 features and we will be having 4 classes. Right. Now, once this is executed, if you look into the feature set, this looks something like this. It's all numbers. Right. Now, the next step is to train test split. So, basically, it's very basic that we are usually do in all, almost all of our machine learning problems while training a data set to analyze the results over the uh, test data set. Right. Now, eventually, what we are trying to do as we have generated a labeled data set for ourselves with 1000 samples and then we have split it into 800 into 200 samples. 800 is the training data set and 200 is the test data set. Now out of this 800, just to demonstrate how semi-supervised learning works, we will be removing labels for the rest 400, uh, 400 samples out of the 800 samples present in the training, label, training data set. And we will be using just the 400 labeled samples for training our model and eventually you will be seeing how we will be labeling this unlabeled data set and eventually using that labeled data also for training purposes and eventually we will also see how the results have improved. So let's get started. So the approach that we would be following is first of all demonstrating how uh, using just the labeled data set that is 400 samples that we are remaining as we have removed labels from the remaining 400 samples out of the 800 training data set. Uh, what are the results for this particular problem? We are not tuning any hyperparameter and all. We will be just checking out the accuracy. So the accuracy that comes out is 71.5%. That's pretty good. Uh, so we haven't done anything. We have just took 400 samples for multi-class problem. And then eventually uh, we train an XGB classifier over that. And we got a result as 17.5%. Now moving on to how we will be implementing supervised, semi-supervised learning using the unlabeled. Uh, and we will be using the unlabeled data also. And then eventually we will be again testing the model and you will see how the model results have improved. So what we would be doing is that first of all using the labeled data set that we have that is 400 samples we will be training some model X and then eventually we will be getting the predictions for uh, predictions over the unlabeled data set right. Now eventually if in the unlabeled data set we have any class as it is a multi class problem which has a probability higher than 0.9 that means that this model is very confident that this is the class that is evident with this particular sample. Now eventually when the model is so sure can this uh, unlabeled data set with this prediction can be taken it as a training data set. So we would be doing the same thing. So for any prediction for which the model is very very sure ki, okay, the probability for estimation is very high we would be appending that particular unlabeled data alongside its prediction into the training data set in an iteration such that eventually what we would be doing here is key. you can see that we have when we are starting with the loop, we are fitting over the label data set x label y label. Now we are getting predictions for the unlabeled data set as you can see y prediction. Now we are getting the indexes for all the samples in the x underscore unlabeled data set where we have at least one prediction that is greater than 90%. So we took those indexes and eventually we got all those samples where the prediction is where a prediction probability is very high into a temp data frame eventually we dropped those samples which have a very high probability from the unlabeled data set now do remember this and then eventually we are appending the indexes for the samples for which the probability is very high into the training data set as you can see x label y label and then we are again going into the loop so earlier we started off with 400 after every iteration as we are appending uh, newer samples to the data set or depending upon high probability uh, by the mod given by the model, eventually the training data set is increasing after every iteration such that until unless we face a situation where in the unlabeled data set, there is no 
such sample where the model is very sure so as you can see that uh, we are getting we are taking out the samples which are very high probability which for which the model has given a very high probability for one of the classes and eventually we are dropping that from the unlabeled data set now so if earlier the unlabeled data set was 400 and assume that uh, we got 440 samples for which the uh, the predicted class has a higher probability greater than 90 percent we will be removing those 400 classes in the next iteration so eventually uh, in the next iteration when we'll be doing this model dot predict underscore proba the unlabeled data set will now have 360 class uh, 60 samples only so eventually the unlabeled data set will get reduced and the uh, labeled data set will be in increasing after every iteration now once this is done i will be checking over the results again again i will be with a new training labeled a new training data set that we have formed using the unlabeled data set we'll be again checking out the results and you can see that the results have improved uh, we are getting an accuracy of 72.5 percent now so earlier the accuracy was 71.5 uh, percent now the accuracy that we have got is earlier it was 17.5 percent when we are using just the labeled data set now the accuracy is 72.5 percent when we have used the labeled alongside the unlabeled data set also so this is how semi-supervised learning can be useful for labeling out your unlabeled data set and using it for semi-supervised problems.